الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد the intention and holding on to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are both very difficult things for us to achieve at times. Because constantly the shaitan and the shayateen from mankind and jinn are striving to take us away from that sabil mu'mini, the path of the believers. That's why the ulama abstract or deduce from the text of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that those are the two conditions for having your deeds accepted. That a person is sincere, they're worshiping Allah alone, and that they're following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. ﷺ. Why do I say that's difficult? Because constantly we're challenged with our own desires. Constantly we're challenged by others as well, and the shayateen. So that a person strives to have ikhlas, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. In the simplest thing, something uh, uh, that we do regularly like the prayer, like in your salat. But what happens is the shaitan whispers to you. And what happens is your ego becomes involved. To where you're trying to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity, but then the shaitan brings in whispers to you that you should perfect your prayer because so-and-so is, is watching. The imam is looking at you. The youth, they're watching you. Beautify your speech. Beautify what you're doing that you intended to do as an action to worship your Lord, but then there's, all, there's something there to detract you from that and to distract you from that. That to take you away from your sincerity to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the other way in which the shaitan and the shayateen from mankind and jinn attempt to detract you is by trying to get you to go away from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the ways in which this happens is there are times you're striving to do what's right. You're striving to adhere to what the ulama of Islam are, uh, what they are propagating in accordance with the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But maybe a new issue arises. For example, the fitna that we face now with Syria and Egypt. And all over the internet and all over the world, everyone has a view. Everyone has an opinion. Everybody is willing to share their opinion. But very few of them are sharing their opinion based on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's easy to get caught up in our desires and want to make fatawa want to accept this person's fatawa. This person from Ahlul Bidah is speaking loudly and it seems like they're going for the cause. This deviant over here is giving us all kind of answers, answering our questions on how we should deal with these issues. Instead of being patient and accepting what Ahlul Ilm, what Ahlul Sunnah has to say from Ahlul Ilm. That they say, no, it's not permissible to protest. The people don't accept that though. Not only will they go ahead and protest, they will persecute Ahl Sunnah and criticize Ahl Sunnah and curse and make dua against Ahl Sunnah because Ahl Sunnah doesn't want to follow the democratic, democratia way, the way of, uh, of, of protesting, the way of asking for uh, the non Muslims to help us and settle our affairs, the way of asking uh, of, uh, and following the way. Of, of people of deviation. Instead of adhering to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and say, no, we don't support protest. We don't support rebellion. Because the Prophet never uh, rebelled. And the Prophet never uh, called us to protest the oppression of the Quraysh and the oppression of the people. 
But the Prophet ﷺ instead called the Tawheed and stayed persistent on the Sabil al Mu'minin and laying down the Sabil al Mu'minin. And this is what we have to do in this time. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa rashidin al Mahdiin. The Prophet ﷺ said, Is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided uh, Khalifa, Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. That that's the Sabil al Mu'minin. That's the Sabil al Najah. That's the Sabil of success. That's the path of, of our success. It's not by the fatwa of this guy or the fatwa of that one or the opinion on this internet group or the opinion on this, uh, this jama'at over here takes. But rather, we have to go back to Kitab and we have to go back to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and that's what helps our deeds to be sincere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لَيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ I, they were not commanded except that they worship Allah alone with sincerity and for him is the success. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who are successful, those who follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.